Huncho has dropped a bag and iced out his boo, Keisha Cole, in celebration of her 43rd birthday. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Ern Dukes, Cole's pal, wished the singer a happy birthday on his Instagram story on Tuesday, October 15th. Dukes then posted video of himself at a restaurant dining table with Cole and Huncho. Huncho may be seen setting a package for Cole on the table in the video. Huncho puts the iced out watch on her wrist when the singer opens the package to show it. Additionally, in another clip, Huncho is shown standing in front of a pink Maybach truck that he apparently surprised Cole with. Over the past few months, Keisha Cole has been the subject of a lot of relationship rumors. In general, she has been associated with people like Antonio Brown. She has been spending most of her time with Huncho, though. The two actually still express their affection for one another on social media. The two are rumored to be a couple as a result of this. However, neither party has provided a straight confirmation as of yet, which has caused a great deal of uncertainty. But now, Cole's new ink is generating some rumors and even some criticism. Cole was spotted in a recent video sporting a tattoo on her chest that seemed to say Ibrahim. This is Huncho's first name, in case you didn't know. As a result, many of the followers currently think that the dating rumors have been verified. However, there are certainly many admirers who find the tattoo absolutely repulsive. Many disparaging remarks were made regarding Cole and her actions here. Fans, of course, disapprove of this behavior. She too old that's it. Just too old, one person wrote. I don't want to be this grown and this lost ever, said another. Overall, there was a lot of judgment here, which is not all that surprising. However, one has to wonder whether or not Cole is seeing all of these comments. If there is one thing for certain, it is that getting someone's name tattooed is a huge commitment. Antonio Brown is constantly trying to start a conversation and controversy on the internet, and he's doing it once more with Keisha Cole. The singer and the former wide receiver for the NFL had a difficult relationship. As fellow artists hoping to collaborate on a hit song, they first connected. If you haven't followed Ab since his days of playing, you should know that he has been pursuing a career in rap. Cole and he worked together on a track off the Now MC's most recent debut album, Paradigm. Although she found what she saw and heard disturbing, she had positive feelings toward his professional path. But things didn't work out between them, and the troubled multi-talent said he was the one who called it quits. He essentially stated on the Ant T podcast that Cole was seeking a meaningful commitment. But in reality, he thought otherwise. Some somewhat callous generalizations about older ladies desiring to be booed up were made by App. But he's been pitifully trying to win her back for some reason. Yeah, but I wasn't trying to be booed up, you know, you older lady. After the R&B icon recently gave the gram some self-assured thirst traps, he's back on that energy. A message with the subject line Mama Back Outside was discovered by the Shade Room while she was reading through her post's comments. Owing to their turbulent and inconsistent relationship, supporters strongly advise Cole to stay away from the disturbed 36-year-old. Ruby Rose's accusation that Drewski paid for her time doesn't seem to worry her too much. Drewski published a meme of the 2003 version of Love Don't Cost a Thing in response to Ruby Rose's ex-posts, in which she claimed that their whole relationship was simply one big marketing ploy. But Drewski photoshopped in his own visage to replace Christina Millian's co-star Nick Cannon in the movie. Love Don't Cost a Thing a remake of the 1987 film Can't Buy Me Love is, as you may already be aware, a coming-of-age teen love story. It revolves around Alvin Johnson Nick Cannon, who pretends to be Paris Morgan's Christina Millian boyfriend in exchange for fixing her mother's car, which she damaged. But eventually, they start to feel genuine affection for one another. It's unclear whether Drewski was trying to let us know that things between him and Ruby Rose got serious at any point or if he was merely using it as an excuse to laugh off the accusations. It appears like Rose and Drewski never really had a connection. The musician stated on her ex just now that Drewski paid her to pose as his girlfriend for media purposes and that they never truly dated. To begin the outrageous admission, she wrote, and for the record I never slept with that man, and a paid for PR. Not the PY Rose, did, however, remark that the internet comic is funny and nice though. In spite of the supposed nature of their relationship, she went on to clarify that they had never shared a bed. I only give it up if I'm in love, I don't care how much money Anna got. I'm rich ass flaw.